Hi there, it's Toy, and it's time for a lit contact. <laughs> different. Um, this weekend I'll be participating in a virtual, um, I guess it's like a book fair event online. It's called LitCon and one of the organizers of that has created, I think, a fun little tag. I think I've done a tag kind of like this before, but hey, I need some content, people. <laughs> so um, I am going to be doing the Heads and Tails tag created by J.D. Estrada. And this is how it works. It's basically heads um, is for readers. So you have five questions for readers. And then tells is for um, writers or authors. And you have five questions. So I'm actually going to do the whole thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the heads part on video here, answering the five questions as a reader. And then I will include my tells, my five questions as an author, in the comments of this video. It does also ask me to tag three people. Not, I feel uncomfortable tagging people without asking them ahead of time, do you want to be tagged? <laughs> so I am going to tag uh, three, um, I think, authors who are on YouTube. And um, so those authors are not obligated to do the tag. If they want to, that would be so awesome. But otherwise, I'm just tagging them so that you guys will know about them. And I'll get to that in just a minute. So head, first question is, have you going to a book convention or Comic-Con? Well, yes, I have. <laughs> if so, which have you gone to and some highlights? Well, I've gone to three different local um, comic conventions. The largest of those has been the Tidewater Comic-Con, and I've also attended RavenCon, um, which is a fantasy convention, and I've attended a writer's conference with the Hampton Roads Writers all in my local area. Um, for me, I think the vendor tables are your best thing for your buck, especially if you're short on money and or time. Just going around, seeing what everyone has, talking to the people at those tables, it, to me, it, you get so much. Um, if you do have some extra time and money, if you can go into any workshops, I love workshops because you always walk away with something, whether it's something in your hand or if it's knowledge, I love workshops. Um, panels are fun, but they can be intense. <laughs> So let's see, what else? Next question. What's the biggest book haul you've ever had at a bookstore or a convention? I'm just going to go ahead and say in terms of a bookstore, I have no idea. I don't really keep track of that kind of stuff, but I do know that whenever I do go into a bookstore, I usually end up buying something. That's just, I buy something. Um, as far as a con goes, um, I did at one con bought two graphic novels, uh, five comic books, I bought three toys slash figures, and then I bought a couple of pieces of, like, geeky jewelry. And so I stick to a budget when I go to a con. You, you just have to. Next question is, how varied do you read in regards to genres? I think most of my reading falls into the realm of speculative fiction that's, you know, fantasy, science fiction, horror, that kind of stuff. However, um, I have been expanding. Um, I, I read romantic suspense, romantic comedy, and cozy mysteries. Um, I'm not opposed to anything historical at all. I just don't read that much of it, but I'm totally into it. Do you mainly, um, do you read mainly mainstream, indies, classics, or a good myth? I like, I like exploring the classics. Some of them I have regretted. Some of them I'm like, what took me so long to read them? As far as indies versus mainstream, I think I read a pretty good healthy mix because um, as an indie writer, I seek, that, seek those out. So I subscribe to newsletters for both traditionally published books and in published books. And then the last question is, how do you find out about new books? And I kind of answered that already. But just to add to that, um, I do read and follow a lot of blogs. And plus, I find things on social media. And so that is my head part of the heads and tails tag here. Um, the tails, I will include um, the answers to those questions below just to let you know what those questions are. Are you traditionally... Um, Indie or hybrid publish, and if you're looking to become a writer, which would you prefer? Do you like to focus on one genre or no limit? How many, oh, how much do you focus on word count or page count? Um, what's been the hardest thing to write? And what do stories mean to your life? 
So my answers to those questions are in the comments below, along with the three people that I'm going to be tagging, which are um, Tyreen Mart <laughs> Tyreen Martinson, Chris Fay, and AF Stewart. You will see the links to their um, channels in the comments. Please check them out. If they see this video, hopefully they'll participate in the tag, but they don't have to. And um, if you do participate in the tag, there are also some hashtags I'll be listing um, to please include with that. So yeah, that's all I have. And I'm excited about LitCon. And uh, yeah, see you around.